Hi there, I'm Lindsay Sparks, author of books that include hidden worlds and twisted myths. Welcome to my weekly author's notes podcast. Today is Sunday, August 7th, and I would love to share some of my reflections from this past week with you. I can't believe it's already August. That's crazy. <laughs> As always, current free books are available to my newsletter subscribers. The link is in the show notes and um, you can get most of my series starters and most and all almost all of those in ebook and audiobook. And then there's also some like novellas and stuff. Uh, my current works in progress are many. <laughs> Currently Blood of the Broken Blood of the Broken is done. Um, it's with my ARC team and it is releasing on the 16th and there is just one thing left that I need to do for, for that before the release, which is, well, for that book specifically, I need to format the paperback version and submit that to, um, the printer. And I would like to do that probably tomorrow is when I'm going to do that. And, um, everything else is good to go. Um, files submitted to all of the retailers and everything. So that'll be great. I am writing still <laughs> the Raven queen, uh, which is the first book in the ending legacy. And then, uh, we are almost done. I think we've got one more week left of writing this. I just wrote chapter 36 out of 43 chapters. I wrote that today and we're at a little over 80,000 words. So we have seven chapters left. Uh, so we'll see where we end up with. And then we're going to go back through, um, as soon as we finish, we're going to go back through our own chapters. We're, I think, perfectly evenly divided. LP might have one more chapter than me. I'm not sure because I think she has chapter one and the final chapter. But we're going to go back through our chapters and revise those on our own. And then we'll go back through and read the whole thing um, simultaneously and make suggestions to each other. And then we'll do those revisions and send it to our beta readers. So that's really exciting. I'm excited for other people to get to read this book. Um, it's really fun, very um, fantasy romance. I feel like it hits a lot of the, a lot of the likes of, uh, or a lot of the kind of things that the readers, the audience of like Jennifer L. Armentrout, maybe not quite as steamy, but steamy. I mean, I went a little over, <laughs> as usual, I went a little over the top with the romance scenes. <laughs> LP and I have been talking in the background and if we need to tone it down, we, we might have to do that, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> this Patreon has just like unleashed a beast. <laughs> so <laughs> can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> I am also writing for Patreon. I am writing and have been writing in my Downtime from the Raven Queen, uh, the Nick Chronicles episode two, which is covering chapters one and two of Inkwitch. I'm so obsessed with this. I'm so obsessed with Nick. I'm like in my head trying to figure out how I can just write this and not write anything else. <laughs> can I make this? Can I make this work for a career? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> but I will fit it in whenever I can because I just want to write about Nick and Cat and Nick <laughs> forever. So we'll see what I can do. <laughs> I'll try to make it work. I am draw working on, on an illustration of Cat and Nick for episode two of the Nick Chronicles. It is a specific, goes with a specific part of the a specific scene. A p there's a p specific excerpt that I'll post with the illustration when I'm done with it. Uh, it is currently in a, it is like the line drawing is done and I have done the literally just drag and drop filled the color in. So like, it's like a solid color on like skin and a solid color on clothes. So there's no shading or anything like that. And it, it is still very rough looking, but I'm really excited about it. I feel like I've grown a lot in my process in the last, I don't know, month or so that I've been doing this. I am figuring out what I'm doing more and more with each illustration, each illustration that I work on, each drawing. But it's just been really fun to, I just, I definitely feel like I'm improving with each, each thing that I start. Uh, I have like four different works in progress going, but I am committing internally, <laughs> internally committing to completing an illustration for each episode of the Knit Chronicles. So hopefully I can stick to that. 
but it's really fun. And the scene is really fun. It's so fun writing this, and I'll talk a little bit more about this later, but it's so fun writing Nick's perspective of the Cat Dubois Chronicles because he is very, from Cat's perspective, he is a very confounding person. He holds in everything. He doesn't share his true thoughts with anybody, even with Cat, really, now. Like, he's still very mysterious to her and they're bonded and everything. So it's really fun to see inside his head and see his actual motivations spelled out right before us because his motivations are, he's been around for over 5,000 years. Uh, He's, you know, two decades younger than his mom. So he's just, and Haru, so he's almost as old as them. Um, He's extremely powerful. He's does he just doesn't care about anything. He's like extremely jaded. <laughs> Zero respect for life or anything. He has one thing that he cares about and that's cat. And otherwise he is done with the world. And so it is so interesting to just like get into the head of somebody who is so singular, has like such a singular focus on his life for what he perceives to be the rest of his life. So I'm really enjoying that. It's really interesting to revisit the events of something that I have already written, um, but looking at an entirely different set of eyes and motivations. And I've really been thinking about a lot of the scenes that I want to add in that aren't in the Cat Block Chronicles um, that are things that there's a lot of time that Nick is not with Cat in the original series. So there's things that I know I want to have him do, interactions that I want him to have, uh, that I'm really excited to explore, especially to have him, an interaction between him and the, um, Nezaret bartender, who, if you've read Inkwitch, um, he is not a nice guy. Uh, and I'm so excited about this interaction that's going to happen. It's not going to be an episode two, but it's going to be awesome. The, let's see here. So I am reading. I finally finished. I did it. I finished A Kingdom of Ruin by KF Brain. There was like a hot minute where I thought it was going to go reverse harem, but it didn't. And uh, so I was a little bit bummed about that because I thought that could have been fun. There's another character in there who I really like, who I felt like was a potential love interest for for the main character. And uh, But now that it seems like that's not going to happen. Um, so there, I mean, another character besides the love triangle that existed in this one. There's one that I've been feeling, feeling feelings toward. And then I also started, so I'm excited to read uh, A Queen of Ruin, I think is book four. But first I need to read Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, which is what uh, LP, and our, LP and I are chatting about it for the next episode of No Shelf Control. So that is what I'm currently reading. I started that today. It is very beautiful. Um, I read Circe and it just took me a long time. I think they're just like, I don't know, almost like too deep for me, <laughs> too intricate. Um, but the language is very beautiful. The story so far is great. Um, I know people love it a lot. So I am excited to experience what people are so obsessed with, with Song of Achilles. Right now we're watching War of the Worlds, uh, the show, which is interesting, a little bit frustrating, sometimes very slow, but we are in season two and there's currently only two seasons out. And I think season three comes out next year. So uh, we will finish that. And then we watched last night, last night in Soho, which was interesting. I will say it was like, I don't know. I I, I don't even know how to explain what it was about. (laughs) Interesting. It's like kind of time travel-y, but not really. And just murder mystery and um yeah my highs I have three highs this week I don't have any lows um so I submitted finally yay submitted the final files of the Song of Scarabs and Fallen Stars audiobook uh so those will be available um they were already approved for all retailers except for Audible I'm still waiting on the approval for Audible and I I'm ex- really excited about that. Uh, this audiobook is amazing. This is the one that has Stina Nielsen, Julia Whalen, Dana Day, and then Neil Thorne. So the four, because there's four point of views, 
and I love having a different narrator for each point of view. It really helps my brain to switch which perspective I'm in. So I'm really happy with it, really proud of it. I think it turned out really good. I finalized, or LP and I finalized, the the next one is that we finalized the new World After cover. So we are recovering World After, which I've talked about, to better fit the genre that the series is going to be in, which is uh, like fantasy romance, historical fantasy feeling, even though it's in the future, um, epic fantasy, all that good stuff. And I, I'm really happy with where the cover is, and I will share it, well, I'm sure we'll share it and swap out the cover of world after as soon as we get the final we just don't have the final like high resolution files yet but yeah really excited about that and then i as always i'm super excited about like patreon day so uh on august 1st i released uh episode four of the last vampire queen which is our first taste of the reverse harem element (laughs) and it was got a little bit out of hand but they wouldn't stop So I just wrote what they were doing and it was a lot. So yeah, that was really exciting. And, um, what else was in that? Uh, there was, oh, there was the uh, patron's choice story, which was Marcus's slash Haru's perspective, uh, when Lex returns from the past and unlocks his memories of all of their experiences together in the past. So that was fun to write. It didn't end up as steamy as I thought it might get, but I don't know, as, as I was writing it, it didn't feel, I mean, they, there's, they have sex, so it's got that. Um, but it's not, it's a brief session, I guess you could call it. So like, couldn't get like too nitty gritty into stuff. And it had already been written that way, um, in the, in the book in time anomaly. So, um, I couldn't change that. So it was really a lot more about exploring Marcus's internal reaction to realizing just how much time they had spent together, how many experiences they had had and getting a a sneak peek at what they were going to be experiencing in their future. So that was really fun to explore. So this, this week's obsession was, (laughs) Okay, so I've been working on episode two of the Nick Chronicles, which is releasing on the 15th. And as soon as I release episode two uh, on the 15th, I am going to make episode one free and available to the public. So I will make sure to link that everywhere and announce it on here and everything. So and I'll put that when it is free. I'll put that in the show notes. Um, And then all the other episodes are going to be behind the Patreon paywall, but it at least gives people an idea of what they could be in for to see if they it's something that they're interested in subscribing to. I think it's totally worth it <laughs> because of the Nick Chronicles. Like I said, I keep thinking, like, is there a way that I can just write this <laughs> because I love it so much? Anyway, so I've been working on the Nick Chronicles episode two. It's chapters one and two of Inkwitch. It's kind of like chapters one, two, and like 2.5. So we're going to get into some of Nick's perspective that's not in some, some of Nick's experience that's not in the Inkwitch because Cat falls asleep. So then we get to see Nick and what he does when Cat falls asleep, which is going to be really um, interesting. And I'm not exactly sure. I mean, this, this episode just keeps getting longer and longer. <laughs> so hopefully I can finish it in time. Uh, But anyway, while I was writing this, so if you remember in chapter one of Inkwitch, if you've read that, if you haven't, you should. It's my, that series is my favorite thing that I've, I could listen, I could listen to those audiobooks over and over again. Anyway, in chapter one, in the beginning, the opening of Inkwitch, I think it's in chapter one, Nick comes into Kat's tattoo shop and he's like, hey, kitty cat. Um, and they fight before he walks in, she turns on music and she specifically says that it's like Nirvana and Foo Fighters. And, um, I can't, I can't remember who else she says, but she says several bands. And so I was like, oh, okay. So now as I'm writing Nick's perspective, I figured out what specifically like the first three song or the th- the three songs that are playing while he, when, before he walks in, when they fight and then after they're done fighting and they're 
I picked them specifically for the songs. I picked them for how they sound and like the cinematic feel of them and how I could picture the, the interaction, the moments, the fight scenes, the pauses, the, the dialogue with those songs in mind. And it was so exciting. Anyway, so that started a Nick Chronicles playlist and now it's like over three hours long. (laughs) I think it's my longest book playlist. (laughs) Uh, And it's also really fun because it's the most, like, it's the most honest to my personal music tastes. And so I am just completely obsessed with this playlist. And this is a playlist that I would listen to anytime. (laughs) Anytime. And now I'm also excited because these songs will all forever be tied to Nick for me (laughs) in my head. And I love it. And so I've just been listening to a lot, it a lot and getting more and more ideas uh, about additional scenes that I want to add in during the, t- the times in the books when Nick is away from Kat. And so when we go into like Nick's own story kind of situations. Yeah. So uh, and that I'll link to that in the show notes. You should definitely check it out. It's great. It's awesome. It's like very 90s grunge, 90s metal, a little bit of 90s punk. It's I love it so much. I love this playlist. (laughs) My, how did I do on my goals last week? So uh, I actually deleted one of my goals, so I can't remember what it was. But uh, the two goals that I still have listed here are three more Dell chapters. I wrote four Dell chapters for the Raven Queen. So yay. Uh, And then write the Nick Chronicles episode two. The Nick Chronicles episode two is currently twice as long as episode one, and it is not done. So uh, hopefully I can finish that tomorrow. Uh, because I also need to polish up that. I need to go back through and polish that up. And then I need to polish up the four bonuses that are releasing for Blood of the Broken on the 16th. If this episode will ever end, but I just keep writing it. (laughs) It just keeps going. (laughs) And then my goals this week are to write the final three Dell chapters for the Raven Queen. And that shouldn't be a problem, knock on wood. Uh, That'll be really exciting to finish that. Hopefully this time next week when I'm talking to you guys, I have, we are done. Or at least I'm done with my part. Like I said, LP has the final chapter, so she might still be writing that on Monday. I need to polish up my Patreon stuff that's releasing on the 15th and the 16th. I need to format the Blood of the Broken paperback. And I need to write up the Blood of the Broken playlist notes. Yeah. So what am I most looking forward to this week? I sent in the cover brief to the cover designer, the same person or the same design team who did the new world after cover. I sent the cover brief for the Raven Queen uh, and uh, we are really excited to see the first proposal uh, that the designers come back with. And I don't know if that's going to happen this week, but it feels good to have gotten that off my plate, sending the writing the brief up and sending that out. Yeah, I'm excited to see what they come up with because I really love the new world after cover. So very excited there. All right, that's it for me this week. Thank you for listening to me ramble about my stories and I'll be back next week with more. Until then, happy reading.